family welcome back to another video with your boy in this video right here we have the dark side of billionaire parties that is the thing i've been to a couple millionaire parties but a billionaire party 999 million plus a million party I haven't been to one of those i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be honest you know what i'm saying they probably have it they probably have those type of parties on private jets and 100 foot nah thousand foot yacht type type you feel me but this is the thing there definitely has to be a dark side to this because once you start making that much money, I feel like it's much more easy to head in, head into a hedonistic lifestyle or hedonistic lifestyle, however you want to say it. But that type of lifestyle is when the materialistic things just aren't enough. So you need to get more and more and more. And that goes exactly with like feeding your flesh when it comes to sex, food, a whole lot of grease. So I'm assuming that's exactly what they're going to be talking about in this video right here. So a lot of people think a lot of money is good. It is good. If you know how to still maintain a healthy lifestyle for your mind and your soul and your body. You feel what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's see what's going on in the dark side of billionaire parties. If the devil escaped from hell to have fun on earth, the first place he would go is a billionaire's party. Because Jeez. what happens at those parties is more sinister than you or I could ever imagine. Billionaire parties are so insane and scandalous that everyone who attends is forced to sign a non-disclosure agreement and give up their phones so they can't take photos. What on earth happens at billionaire parties that requires an NDA? Lucky for us, some brave souls and loose lips have revealed the mind-blowing activities that take place at these secretive billionaire events. And we've spent hours sifting through their revelations to bring you the seven dark secrets of billionaire parties. With limitless money comes limitless temptation. So it's no surprise that the first thing you'll find at billionaire parties is tons of illegal drugs Damn. like cocaine, ecstasy, marijuana, LSD, and psychedelic mushrooms. However, there was a day when the drugs at the billionaire party were so much that it almost caused the death of everyone there. Bro, I was literally just having a conversation I, with one of my, you know, one of my friends that have a lot of money. He's well off. He's multiple millions of dollars. And one of his friends, basically, he smokes like a ton, a ton of weed. Ton of weed. Like more than you could probably think of. And basically, the best way you could explain it, he smokes so much weed that he no longer even needs to use his brain anymore because he makes so much damn money, bro. Like, when we think about how and when we use our brain, for the most majority of people, it's like, yo, how am I about to make some money right now? But he just fries his brain, bro. That's a probably these billionaires Imagine a get. private jet filled with so much marijuana smoke that the pilots had to wear oxygen masks to prevent the plane from crashing. This nightmarish scene actually happened Hot in 2007 when billionaire Henry Nicholas threw a party on a plane. And also back in 2007, Nicholas was accused of smoking so much pot on a private jet the pilot had to wear a mask. Lucky for him, the plane didn't crash. But instead of this story serving as a warning, it rather motivated another billionaire, Adam wow. Numa to take partying and smoking on planes to a whole new level. Bro, the thing with that, <laughs> another friend's story is I was just telling about a poolside one of my friends or whatever, and she works for a private charter club. So she works for people that go into private planes. She's an attendant for them. She said that A Boogie, she won A Boogie was one of them, bro, hot box the entire plane with him and the bros. And that's not a good thing. I'm like, well, okay, why is that so bad? It's not a good thing because there's no air circulation ever coming in. So whatever smoke you smoke in there is literally going to be in the air. And then it travels straight to the front of the plane. So the pilot over here going to, you know, start start getting lit driving the plane. I ain't think about that. But that's exactly why it's so Many bad. Many people have described Newman as a party animal. Therefore, it's no surprise that he couldn't sit still for a few hours when flying from one place to another. Every flight was an opportunity to smoke marijuana, go crazy and unleash the party animal. It's like the Wolf of Wall Street. The unlucky people who bore the brunt of Newman's drug-fueled parties were the companies who rented private jets to him. 
Not only did Adam and his friends also smoke so much weed that the flight crew had to wear oxygen masks, they were also experts in damaging property. After Damn. a trip in 2015, a private jet company sent an official complaint to WeWork that Newman and his friends were spilling tequila on each other, breaking off sections of the plane, and one person threw up all over the bathroom. The hell uh, type of drug is he taking? He's taking a drug straight from hell. After Newman's parties, the plane crew was always left to clean up disgusting vomit and alcohol spills from the seats and floor. The damage Newman left behind was often so bad that the private jet had to be taken out of service for weeks so it could be repaired and cleaned. Jeez. Newman's marijuana parties got even wilder when he was on land. He would get so high at his parties that he would spray never people seen with that. fire extinguishers and set hotel furniture on fire. And when people tried to calm him down, Newman screamed, Fuck that! I could buy this hotel! But Adam Newman isn't the only billionaire whose parties involve heavy drug use. Later in this video, we'll reveal another billionaire who hands out ecstasy and prescription pills at his parties like they're candy. However, even though drugs are dangerous, the next billionaire party secret is worse than dangerous. It's shameful. Jeez. Girls, girls, girls. Since most billionaires are men, it's no surprise you that... think Mark Zuckerberg began crazy with these girls, girls, girls at the party? Honestly, he probably does. He'd probably be doing some things that you wouldn't even imagine. <laughs> Dead serious. Billionaire parties have an endless rotation of girls. But these aren't just any girls. They're porn stars, supermodels, and even prostitutes. Sheesh. And instead of sitting around sipping wine, these girls are subjected to the most sexist and demeaning treatment imaginable. They're there to entertain the billionaires, inflate their egos, and make them feel like kings of the universe. One billionaire who's notorious for having women at his parties is the infamous Silvio Berlusconi. Silvio was an Italian media mogul who owned dozens of television stations, newspapers, and even the AC Milan football team. This billionaire threw parties nicknamed Bunga Bunga Parties, which took place at his well-guarded mega Damn. mansion near Milan. I joined his massive. Know Bunga Bunga Party is, Carlos? Talk, talk to me, bro. Well, there's a few meetings. Nah, that delay was thick. They've actually improved it over some time. There's still a delay nowadays. I'm still wondering how they haven't improved the delays like till this day in 2024. But that delay was thick. One is that is a, 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 a don't worry about a it, naked bro. party involving a lot of activity. What goes on in these bunga bunga parties was revealed by Ambra Batilana and Kiara Denise. Two ladies who were promised jobs on Berlusconi's TV channel if they attended the party. Bunga Bunga Party started with a lap dancing competition. Dozens of beautiful women take turns performing for the billionaire and his friends. The winner of the lap dance receives the honor of sleeping with Berlusconi at the end of the night. But lap dancing the isn't the only Ain't thing no way. girls do. There's also the Bunga Bunga session, yeah, we can, we which happens in a is. special room that looks like a disco. Here, the girls perform striptease acts and erotic dances. Yeah. Perform at these after-dinner parties uh, in the so-called Bunga Bunga room, uh, where some of them, for instance, dressed up as Obama and engaged in sort of semi-erotic fondling of one another. If this already sounds perverse, it gets worse. Where because the girls sometimes dress as sexy nuns during these erotic performances. But what did they receive after subjecting themselves to this? The girls received bags of money, jewelry, expensive gifts, jobs on Berlusconi's TV channel, and in some cases rent-free apartments. While this depravity seems impossible to top, the next secret of billionaire parties 
is far worse. Spiked. Drinks. What happens to those who attend Billy? By, the, by the end of this video, we need to determine which one do you really think is the worst out of the out of the seven they're presenting. So we have the drugs, we have the girls, now we have more drugs. These and don't want to let. The spiked loose. is worse though. Well, there's a plan to help them loosen up. Just ask Henry Nicholas, the billionaire founder of Broadcom, who threw the wildest parties. Nicholas was notorious for drugging people who attended his parties by dropping ecstasy into their drinks. Ecstasy is a powerful drug that creates feelings of intense happiness. In other words, the drug makes you party like there's no tomorrow. However, Nicholas's habit of spiking drinks didn't go unnoticed. On two occasions, he was sued by people who accused him of drugging them. According to court documents from 2007, defendant Nicholas spiked the drinks of others with MDMA, ecstasy, without their bro, knowledge. Bro, to think that this guy right here is a billionaire, like, come on, bro, he looks like a bum. Realistically speaking, this is what I'm saying, money can either enhance your life, money will enhance whatever you're already doing. So if you're already a person that doesn't have morals or values, it's only going to enhance it. If you are a person that has morals or values, most likely, hopefully, it will enhance it. But... It can destroy a lot of people, make them get like all egotistical and feel like they can do whatever they want. Including, without limitation, the drinks of technology executives and representatives. But if anyone thought the lawsuits would scare Nicholas into reducing his wild party ways, they were dead wrong. Yeah, he can't It only stop. motivated him to be more direct when dispensing drugs at his parties. Nicholas began to hand out hundreds of thousands of dollars of coke and ecstasy to those who attended his parties. This billionaire was so determined to provide drugs for everyone that he ordered his party planners to keep piles of coke, ecstasy, and meth permanently Damn. at his party the house. Meth? I do need to make this for YouTube purposes. I do not promote or condone any of this drug use at all. I'm actually against it. And this is mainly just for educational purposes right here. And there was even paperwork for the drugs. During a court hearing, it was revealed Nicholas had received many invoices for drugs, including one bill for $15,000 labeled party favors for 300 hits of ecstasy. But what happens when the drugs take effect and everyone's self-control has disappeared? That's the fourth secret of billionaire parties. Sheesh. We might need to well, skip past this part, bro. We might need to skip past it. We already get it, but for YouTube purposes, YouTube's the game really, really strict. Really strict. Guests do too. For instance, Henry Nicholas supplied prostitutes to employees, clients, and anyone who attended his parties. Diddy, the billionaire music mogul, is also notorious is for throwing sex parties with a twist. Diddy's parties include something called a freak off which involves girls having sex with male prostitutes while diddy watches diddy's freak offs have even gotten him sued by his former girlfriend cassie who claims diddy forced her to participate against her will another weird way billionaire party goers describe sex is all right we need to pass by this right here this is getting you know what i'm saying we still on youtube how much would a billionaire Pay to protect their reputation. Ten thousand, hundred thousand, a million dollars. Like a solid five we don't have to guess least. because it's happened multiple times. For instance, Silvio Berlusconi was accused of bribing witnesses with eleven million dollars so they would lie about what they had seen at his bunga bunga parties. While eleven million dollars is a mind-boggling amount of money for most people. It was merely a drop in the ocean for Berlusconi, who was worth over six billion dollars. The billionaire right-wing politician had been accused of paying millions of euros in hush money for what prosecutors called silence and lies after the scandal broke. Berlusconi admitted to giving the money, but he claimed it wasn't a bribe. He said the money was to compensate people whose reputations were damaged by the Bunga Bunga parties. In other words, 
It wasn't a bribe, it was a gift. But Berlusconi isn't the only one who's been accused of paying hush money. In 2002, billionaire Henry Nicholas gave an outgoing employee one million dollars to stay silent about Nicholas's drug-fueled parties. And there's more. The most recent payout was between Diddy and his ex-girlfriend Cassie. When Cassie sued Diddy for forcing her to engage in freak-offs, Diddy immediately denied the allegations. But when Cassie was willing to go to court and reveal all she'd seen at Diddy's parties, Diddy immediately paid her off with a multi-million dollar settlement. Moments ago, word coming out that Combs and R&B singer Cassandra Ventura have settled the lawsuit. Both sides releasing statements moments ago saying they agreed to resolve the matter amicably. The settlement comes one day after word of the lawsuit was filed where she accused him of sexual assault. She claims while the two were dating, Combs raped her and forced Damn. her to have millions of dollars to prevent Cassie from telling the world what she tens of millions of dollars to prevent Cassie from telling the world what she'd seen at those billionaire parties. But how can these billionaires permanently prevent these leaks from happening? That's in billionaire party secret number six. One of the most crucial elements of a billionaire party is the location. Considering the depravity that goes on, they need to choose a location where they can have the utmost privacy. Now it makes sense that Adam Newman likes to have his crazy parties 30,000 feet in the air. Privacy is guaranteed. In the quest for privacy, Henry Nicholas, the billionaire party animal, built a warehouse specially for his parties. It has a jacuzzi for six and a bedroom in the back that was used for sex and sleeping. But he didn't stop there. He hired contractors to construct hidden doors, secret tunnels, and underground passageways that make it easier for guests to move pros- But if building an underground room sounds extreme, then what Philip Green did for privacy will make your jaw drop. To guarantee privacy for himself and his guests, British Billy- Try to take a guess. I mean, the only other guess is down in the deep ocean, bro. You know what I'm saying? 150 feet at the ocean, at the ocean ground. Other than that, they already done underground tunnels. They already did it up in the sky. They already did it on the earth. Like, where else are you going to go? <laughs> where else is this man going to go, bro? All right, let's see. Let's see. Billionaire Philip Green flew 100 of his closest friends to the Maldives for his 55th birthday. The five-day party had 3,000 bottles of champagne, exotic dancers, chefs, and a magical firework display which lit up the night. And then there's Ronald Perelman, who's thrown multiple parties around his 188-foot yacht. What's more private than partying in the middle of the ocean? The ocean. From the moment a billionaire party begins, one thing that's constant is alcohol. However, it's not the typical tequila and whiskey you find at a bar. The alcohol at billionaire parties has one major difference. The price tag. These are the wealthiest men in the world. Of course, they only drink the best. Expensive drinks are a symbol of status and prestige, from aged whiskies to fine wines and champagne. The selection of alcohol is nothing short of impressive. Here's a quick breakdown of exactly how much some of these drinks cost. The Bombay Sapphire Revelation is a limited edition gin that goes for $200,000. It comes in a jewel-shaped bottle made from Baccarat crystal, diamonds, and sapphires. The Macallan Whiskey brand has a price tag ranging from $200,000 to six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss me with that? You bugging? You're bugging, bro. That looks like cheap liquor at a liquor store. Come on, that bottle has to be doing backflips for me to pay two hundred and six. What? That bottle better be doing tricks and entertaining me, bro. You bugging? You can't tell me like you can't tell me it doesn't look like you can get this at the supermarket, bro. Come on. 
from Don Perinon to Domaine Leroy to Crystal. Billionaire parties serve only the best alcohol in the world. Billionaire parties are a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The biggest party a billionaire has ever thrown is the $50 million wedding of Princess Sheikha Mara. Princess Mara herself might not be a billionaire, but her famous father is. She's the favorite daughter of the billionaire ruler of Dubai. Mara's lavish Damn. but secretive wedding might be the most expensive wedding celebration this world has ever seen. Things wait, happened wait, wait, at the. That's not the same girl that I saw in that picture, though. You know what I'm saying? Celebration. This Man, ain't no way. That's that's not the same girl. The other girl, you know, and she was looking a bit better. World has ever seen. Things happened at the event that have never been done before or since. Luckily, we made a video on it to witness the magnificent 50 million. Yo, bro. Two hundred and sixty thousand. That has to. That has to be the worst part, bro. <laughs> Out of all the things, bro, two hundred sixty thousand on a, on a thirty-two ounce, but sixty-four ounce bottle that you can, that looks like you can get from Walmart. You're bugging. You're absolutely bugging. But comment down below. Out of the seven, which one you believe is the worst one? Because I do read the comments, and you can also comment down below any other videos you want to watch together. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. The same we gonna catch me in the next one. Peace.